Hello, my beautiful Piscinians. Welcome to your Thursday reading. We are going to use the Tarot de la Nuit. It's the tarot of the night. I am a little bit ragged today, a little bit edgy. Just go with it. I have my Camelot shirt on. Anybody know who Camelot is? Bonus points if you do. <laughs> All right. We are going to take a look at I don't know what. Whatever spirit wants you to have. This is kind of your extra special, extra reading. You know, I'm going to try to do more of those for y'all. All right, let's see what we've got. Welcome back VIP members. Welcome back subscribers. Truly appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome back repeat viewers. Click that subscribe. All right, well, Pisces. You have nurturing thyself. Well, that tells me that right now you're in a state of doing things for you, right? Choosing for you, taking time for you. Some of you may be doing yoga. Some of you may be meditating, but you're choosing to put time and effort into. <laughs> this is the only card that is not tarot just flipped over. My dearest Pisces, your dark nights are over. The dark nights are coming to a close. I'm getting strong spirit chills. All the, excuse my language, but all the hell, all the bullshit that you have been through, it is coming to an end. The dark night is almost over. The angel de la nuit, the angel of the night. Take this time because it looks like you are preparing for something new. Whew. All right, Spirit, what is Pisces preparing for? I don't want to know where they came from. All the nasty junk. We don't need to know that, Spirit. Tell me where they're going. All right. So I have that, you know, that song like uh, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. If one of the bottles should happen to fall, 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles of beer. If one of the bottles should happen to fall, 97 bottles of beer on the wall. Uh, somebody's gone on a road trip. That's the song that, you know, one of the songs that you would sing going on a road trip, right? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You might be going on that road trip with some friends. You might be meeting some new friends on that road trip. But you are standing in your power. All right, are we ready? <laughs> I try, Pisces, I try and try and try to pull a message that's not love for you. I try, but y'all won't let me. <laughs> Y'all's energy just will not let me pull anything other than love. No matter how hard I try to make the energy go elsewhere. <laughs> We oh, it for Pisces, it always comes down to love. So, those Pisces who are like, I wanted a career, I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Majority ruled and majority pulled in love, so it is what it is. So, we have the tower. So, first of all, signs I see on the board we have Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Virgo, and Gemini. That's it right now. So, we have uh, somebody new in your life with the Ace of Cups. This person may already be in your life, may not. Ace of Cups, new love. Tower, destruction. The dark days of this destruction, of this struggle, of this worry, of this heartache, of this difficulty are coming to an end. 
A secret may have been revealed. Your intuition may be blocked right now. You may be struggling to see the way forward. But we have this beautiful energy of the Three of Cups, a celebratory energy between you and this person. Talk to me about this Three of Cups for Pisces, please. The Seven of Cups. Could have met this person online. The Nine of Swords in the reverse. They take away your fears and worries about relationships, or they will. The devil, strong passion between you and this person, Pisces. Strong passion. Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Gemini, or a fellow Pisces, or that could be you. Could be you standing in this energy of self-love. Reflecting on how far you've come in life, how much you have overcame. The wheel of fortune, the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning and you are coming out of this dark and difficult time. You are going to hear some sort of news about a new opportunity to take a leap of faith. I think you're gonna be taking a leap of faith with this person. Talk to me about the Ace of Cups, please. Talk to me about the Ace of Cups. The star. Did you wish upon a star, dear Pisces? Did you wish upon a star and here it comes? Here comes that wish, here comes that, that. This is actually a past energy because I did a five card spread. So I feel like you already know this person. Eight of Pentacles. You're willing to put time and energy and effort into this person. Temperance card, but it requires your patience. King of Pentacles. This person has the potential to go the long haul. With the Nine of Pentacles, you are standing in this independent energy of strength and confidence. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Pisces? I think you're entering into a relationship. But we have the Six of Swords. Um, the Six of Swords has a number of meanings. Uh, <clears throat> rather than going to all of them, we're just going to say you're moving forward in a, in a new way. You're moving forward <clears throat> into a new future. With somebody stable, somebody long term. Here's your King of Wands. Ten of Swords in the reverse. All the mental worries, all the burdens are leaving you. Somebody is taking action towards you, Pisces. New beginning. Two aces. Three aces. Three aces. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. You are, your person has made some sort of decision to take action. Ace of Wands, they have some sort of creative way of expressing this to you. All right, so Pisces. Um, let's, let's get with love. <laughs> I got cards. I think you heard me say earlier, maybe, maybe. Cards to my right, cards to my left. It's just a matter of which ones am I going to at the moment. Tell me about Pisces and this potential long-term partner. What's going on here? Pisces, it looks like your confidence 
Your stability and your confidence is what's bringing this person into you. I love this. Love helps heal wounds. Love helps heal, heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. That's what we see happening. Ten of Swords in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse. This person is, has a healing presence in your life. Ooh, Pisces. All right. Bottom, new love. This is not somebody from the past. This is not somebody you've been sitting around waiting on Pisces. This is somebody else. They could be fairly new in your life or you could be meeting them in the very near future. Relationship patterns. Pisces, this is a warning. If you want to overcome this difficulty and allow the new beginning to occur, you cannot repeat. Let me re-say re re that one more time. You cannot repeat. And I know I sound angry, but... Do not repeat old relationship patterns. Do not, do not, do not. Do take a sincere look at what your relationship patterns are because you have somebody stable, somebody strong, somebody who can remain committed and loyal. But if your relationship patterns pop in, you may have a struggle. <laughs> Physical touch, a tender touch, it says a tender touch can mean so much. I definitely see the two of you have a physical con a physical um, chemistry. So it looks like one of the two of you is very into physical touch. <laughs> take a chance on love. So take that leap of faith. That's the fool card here. When we love, our lives are changed forever. And the only thing real is love. I think that, you know, there's this fresh beginning to start anew, leaving old patterns behind and have a, a, a fresh new start on love, new love again. See, twice. So for whomever was sitting there saying, no, 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 that's my, that's my past person coming back. No, no, honey, it's not. <laughs> new love, new love. It's not your past person coming back. No, no, no. Um, you may have already met this person though, that is possible, but it's not somebody, if you're waiting on somebody from the past, it is not a past person. Um, she is literally catching a falling star. Star, your wish. Catching a falling star. Attraction. Strong, a strong attraction between you and this person. We did get separation. Um, so, I'm still telling you, it's not, it's not an old love. It, it's a new, it's a current or new one. Um, separation though, it could mean that you're at a physical distance from each other, or there may be some emotional distance right now while one of you deals with work or travel or something of that nature. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I'm going to dig some more in the in and extended and see if we can find out, you know, how's this person feeling about you, that sort of thing. Um, but it looks really, really positive. Let me go over the signs that figure prominently. Definitely another water sign is figuring very strongly. We have lots of, lots of Scorpio, lots of Cancer showing, um, a little bit of Pisces. Well, we've got Sag figuring prominently as well as Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, and Gemini. Leo Cancer, Cancer Gemini, yeah, and Aquarius. All right, so I'm gonna go dig in the extended. Stay tuned for the preview. Pisces, my dearest Pisces, your extended preview on this amazing reading. Um, I took a ton of cards on this, tons of cards. We used the Light Seers Tarot, we took some more um, romance, an an we took another romance angel and some more whispers of love. And I gotta tell you, this is absolutely a sweet connection between you and your person. Um, we looked at how this person is feeling about you, what this person's thoughts are of you, what type of person this is, how they view you, that sort of thing. 
Um, we also took a look at where this is going between you and this person. We also took some cards on what this person would want you to know right now that would help the connection. And we took some cards on their really deep, deep feelings. So if that is of interest to you, there's a link below in the description box and in the comments. And uh, looks absolutely lovely. I wish you well. Love and light to you, my dear Pisces. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. Mwah! I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.